Hello, everyone. It is me, Kevin. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I wanted to share something with you guys from the perspective of being alert and in the know and aware. We have to stay vigilant because the challenges that we face more specifically, uh, the folks that are testing us and making our lives more challenging day by day, they're getting more sophisticated. They're getting better. They're getting smarter. They're getting more creative. And AI is to blame. But also the lack of education and knowledge and common sense and street smarts and good old fashioned stupidity is going to lead people into uh, harm's way is the only way I can really put it. So today I actually I pulled up my Yahoo email In my Yahoo email. I saw a notification it was an update. I was actually tracking a package that I ordered from Amazon. And I ordered this package, I believe, on Thursday. I think it was on Thursday. And it was supposed to be here on Saturday. It was supposed to be on Saturday. And I went and checked because I didn't get a notification that I had a package ready for me up front. So I checked Amazon. And Amazon says, and I look at the uh, order, and it says it'll be delivered by Tuesday. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Uh, delays in delivery. Okay. Now we're going to talk about USPS. We're going to talk about FedEx here in a minute, but it's been delayed. It was supposed to be here. I'm paying for prime. I'm paying for prime. I'm supposed to have two day delivery or whatever. And my delivery, which was supposed to be here on Saturday, which I really wanted to be able to give to somebody on Sunday, uh, while we met for mother's day for breakfast, for brunch, for birthing person's day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I couldn't, so it's going to have to wait. It's not super time sensitive, but I really wanted, I was looking forward to it and it has been delayed till Tuesday. So as I'm in my Yahoo email today, I see, we're sorry, your package has been delayed. And this is beneath an email that says, here's your Facebook recovery password. And I'm like, uh, okay, is somebody trying to hack into my Facebook account? Because I didn't request a Facebook recovery password. So typically you'll receive these if you try and log in and you say forgot password, and then they go through all these different steps of authentication to get you back into your account. <sighs> but as I said, we were going to talk about FedEx and USPS, which the contract between FedEx or UPS and USPS has changed. That's changing. In addition to the United States Postal Service increasing their 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 rates and their fees for some of these bulk package shippers. So it's almost like it almost seems like from what I saw, from what I read, that those who actually ship in volume with the Postal Service and have built that into their business are going to be penalized for doing that now. You see how funny, how crazy that is, how that works? Be that as it may. Um, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know specifically if and how Amazon and the USPS, United States Postal Service, the UP or UPS, United Parcel Service, FedEx, and all these different things connect because they do work together. They do use each other to facilitate the transportation of cargo and freight between warehouses and distribution centers and hubs before they reach our doorsteps or our businesses or wherever. And add on top of that, I'm going to assume that part of this delay probably had something to do with the weather. Now, climate change, weather manipulation, cloud seeding, um, chemtrails, whatever you want to call it, we are experiencing some interesting weather and potentially, uh, you know, hazardous weather with the likelihood of tornado watch and tornado warnings and, you know, hurricanes coming. And, you know, it's, it's that time of year, folks. It's 2024. We went through this in 2023 and we're going to go through it again in 2024. This year is going to be worse than last year, I would imagine, I would guess, I would assume, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, 
But at the same time, I'm also sitting here wondering, well, what's going to happen in 2024 that we literally sit here scratching our heads wondering, like, you expect us to believe that? Going back to Lahaina and Maui and Hawaii. But maybe this weather had an impact in delaying my delivery from Amazon in conjunction with everything else that's going with it. Now, that's just basic, you know, heads up, be aware there are going to be disruptions between seeing this FedEx facility in Michigan being destroyed by a tornado, which maybe we're going to see more of this happening. Seeing some of these these major these big stores and distribution centers and warehouses falling apart with landslides ripping half the building off, as well as I think the Dollar Tree had a distribution center that got wiped out. Ultimately, there's going to be delays. I don't think we're going to see like huge issues of shortages, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I do think that we're going to see delays and we're probably going to see higher prices as they try to offset these costs, costs, raise their revenue and profit with legitimate justification for doing so. And basically what that means is order things early. Order things ahead of time. Give yourself some leeway. You know, if maybe even if you're on a reoccurring membership or subscription service of whatever you order, dog food or bathroom tissue or toilet paper or whatever, maybe you need to, you know, go ahead and initiate that order sooner in case there's a delay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to, you know, create uh, panic and chaos and incite you know, this uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in this fear-mongering, you know, environment that we live in, but or that we engage in on this platform. But it's just a heads up. Just, you know, these are things I'm seeing. I'm sharing it with you guys. If there's anything that you guys are seeing and you want to share it with me, you can contact me. My info is in the description down below. More importantly, stay safe. And protect yourself because this email that I received theoretically from Facebook trying to help me recover my account with this uh, recovery password with another one, a new one coming in. I got two emails yesterday telling me that my phone number has been changed or something. Some rando emailing me telling me my phone number has been changed and they can't reach me. It's the stupidest thing. But people try. They fish. They fish. And if they get a bite, if they get a little bite and you see the line, they're going to set the hook. They're going to reel it in. And I don't want that to be any of you guys, okay? And so please share this video with anybody you think needs to hear this and get a little bit of a reminder of just to practice and create this routine of muscle memory in higher levels of common sense and being cautiously pessimistic of what could the threats that are, exist. I mean, you click the wrong link, you open the wrong attachment, you you know, you know you make one wrong move, and those seconds can cost you days, weeks, months, years, and if not, thousands and thousands of dollars. Huge headaches, okay? So what I did was when I saw this Facebook email, I didn't really, I disregarded it. I didn't really care, but I did pull it up. And I Googled because, and I looked, so the email came in, it looked pretty official. And I look at the domain and the domain said it came from at facebookmail.com or whatever. I don't know what it was. And I'm like, you know, it's like security at facebookmail.com. I'm like, it looks pretty official, but I was like, you know what? I feel like Facebook's email domain would literally be at facebook.com. Not at facebookmail.com. It's not like when Facebook was created, they were fighting over their domain because somebody else already had it. And even, you know, to this day, to this point, not paying what they needed to pay to secure their domain the way that they wanted. Like they would pay millions, billions of dollars to get whatever they wanted. They have that. They have that money. OK, they have that. Um, they have those means. OK, they have the financial means to literally do and and get whatever they want, take whatever they want. So I Googled it and I just put Facebook mail domain. And I think Google finished it for me and it said is a scam. <laughs> so it immediately populated this Reddit subreddit 
that says it's a it's a scam. It seems legit, but it's a scam. And you know, just ignore it, delete it, whatever. You can report it, but it's not going to stop. You know, it's funny because you know Michelle and I we were joking the other day about laws and rules and things like that. She's like, you know, it's illegal to do that. It's illegal to do this. There's no sign that says you can't do this and that and the other. I said. You know, it's illegal to murder people and there's no signs that say don't murder people, but people still manage to murder people. OK, that's all I'm saying. Be safe. Be careful. Be smart. Be wise and uh, and be back because I'll have another video for you guys later. Take care. Bye.